I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be talking about backup heat on heat pumps a little bit. In this video I'm going to talk about how to test it. During the fall it's a good idea to test your heat pumps auxiliary emergency backup heat, which is typically an electric heat strip. It's a good thing to go ahead and test it early in the fall to make sure it's working and also to burn the dust off. See, when the heat pump runs, normally your auxiliary heat is not running unless the unit defrosts or you get cold inside to turn the thermostat up. So, when it does eventually try to use the aux heat on its own, you'll notice a burning smell in the house and you'll be like, okay, what's going on? So, this will eliminate that and also it'll ensure that your backup heat does work. In the event that, as I say, if it gets too cold outside or your heat pump fails, your backup heat will work. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it over from heat to emergency heat. I had the fan set on because I happened to catch this thing running um, after the heat pump shut off, and I set this on to stop the bar from shutting off. So I'm going to set this to emergency heat. I'm going to turn it up to 70. In a moment, this thermostat's set's going to call in the backup heat, which is electric heat. Your heat pump's electric heat might run off of a sequencer. This one runs off of a, I think a contactor because it comes on very quickly once the thermostat calls for it. So it might take years a moment to come on after the thermostat starts to call for it. This thing does take a while to call. You'll see a little ox come on when it does. There it goes. The backup strip heat just kicked on, and oh, it stinks. <laughs> All of summer's dust is now burning off the um, heating coals. And you'll notice that the heat is noticeably warm. It typically gets warmer than this your heat pump um, running by itself will get it. Don't need to run for long, just maybe about a minute or so. You don't want to run for too because it's very expensive to operate. Typically about a dollar an hour to operate if you have a 10 kW heat strip, I think. So yeah, it definitely works fine. Now we can go ahead and switch it back off. And it just kicked off. Because now I'm going to fire up the much cheaper form of heating. Yeah, the wood stove. So anyways, that's a way you can test your heat pumps auxiliary backup heat. It's a good idea to test it early in the fall. Um, before it starts getting down to close to freezing, now my aux heat, I actually have a switch installed on it to prevent the um, defrost control or thermostat from calling it on because there are many times, most commonly with the thermostat, I decide to knock up a bit where the heat pump would easily be able to heat the place on its own. And I wouldn't recommend an average, average Joe do this to your system, but I happen to know a little bit about HVAC and I prefer to save a little bit of money once in a while on electricity, so... Anyways, again, that's how you can test your, your backup heat to make sure it works. It's better to know that it works and burn off the, 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 um, the nasty smell than to either be like, what's that smell? Or, dang, it's cold in here. Why is my heat not working? So in addition to testing out and burning the dust off your emergency heat or your backup heat, I also recommend going ahead and change out your filter uh, before you start heating with your heat pump during the fall. Um, the, pre the previous video you just watched was shot last year, and I'm actually uploading all this together this year. 
So I'd actually would recommend changing out your filter before you even start the procedures that I had covered previously. That way you're starting out with a fresh filter. Um, here's why it's important. Now no matter what kind of uh, system you use for heating and cooling, it's always important to maintain your, uh, to keep up with filter changes. Don't let your filter stand or too long and get too clogged up because it can result in damage to your system when, it's, when it involves heating. Um, with heat pumps in particular, they run, they're essentially an air conditioner running backwards in the winter time. They're, instead of drawing heat from inside and taking it outside, they're pulling heat from outside and bringing it inside. So when your system is running backwards, it's like an air conditioner running backwards, the inside coil is like the condenser coil more or less. It's, um, it's got the head pressure in it and when your filter gets clogged up and the airflow is not sufficient, it will cause your compressor or it can cause the head pressure to get way too high and potentially um, cause damage to the compressor over the long term or cause your um, high pressure switch to activate and shut off the system momentarily which is not good for the switch nor the rest of your system. So it's always important to keep this maintained. Let your system breathe. Make sure all your vents are open where, they can, where air can flow. So we're going to go ahead and change this out. So there's the old one. Okay, so here's the new filter. Let's stack it up beside the old one. Let's show you for an example the difference between one that's kind of dirty and one that's clean. You can definitely tell a difference in the two. So, go ahead and stick this in there. And of course, with your system, it'll vary. So, there we go. If you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Well, guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for your support.